What is going on party people? Dirty D's out here in the hizzy enjoying a beautiful day. My goodness, I think it's about 72 degrees even though it's November 20th. Down here in Texas, man, ah, I put up a post the other day that said let the riding season begin. I kid, I kid. We don't have a riding season here in San Antonio. Uh, well, it never starts because it never ends, man. We ride 365. So that being said, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, hit the bell, especially if you're in those cold weather areas where, you know, you guys are putting away your bikes for the season, whatever that means. Um, keep it on here, man, because I promise you, I'm going to keep bringing you the best rides and the best weather that you can ask for. I'm not here in a friggin' t-shirt, bro. Anyhow, the point of today's video is, with the holidays coming up, you might be spending some time around family and friends, and I just want to talk about the people that you truly care about are sometimes the ones that you're going to hurt, bro. Especially if you're telling them the truth. And those are very direct conversations. And I want you to know this. If those are the people that are in your closest circle and you truly care about them, right? You love those people, man. Those are your brothers, your sisters, you know, the, the people who are in your close circle. Hey, look, give yourself a license to correct them even though you're not perfect. Because a lot of folks, they won't speak up when someone's messing up because they think, well, damn, how am I going to tell this person about the splinter in their eye when I got a plank in my own? Hey, let that go. If you really care about them, you're going to bust their balls when they need to be busted, baby. <laughs> ah, nice way to put it, huh? Anyhow, man. So look, here's what I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to talk about a technique that I learned a while back on how you can get into that conversation without hurting your relationship. And it's pretty slick, bro. This comes from a mentor of mine that I've known for 12 years. Guy's name is Chris Brown. And it's not the singer Chris Brown either, okay? Um, but Chris is just like, man, this dude is a Yoda master. I say sometimes, hey, I'm gonna tell you this thing, but I'm no Yoda master. This buddy, this guy, Chris, is a Yoda master, bro. Um, so, here's what he said to me one time. We were having lunch and he goes, hey Tom, uh, Hey man, do you think you and I have the kind of relationship where you would tell me if I was doing something wrong? You know, if you saw something that I was doing that I could change to make me a better person, do we have the kind of relationship where you would tell me? And I said, yeah, Chris, of course, man, anything. And he said, well, then do we have the kind of relationship where you would trust me enough where I could tell you something that I saw you doing that if you changed it, it would make you a better person. Dude, mind blown. I'm like, yeah, Chris, of course. And then boom, he goes into the conversation. Look, sometimes it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Set up those conversations. Give you an example, and this is just a hypothetical. But let's say that you have a friend who is, you know, drinking too much. And, you know, hey, man, it's great to drink now and then for some folks. Other people, it's not. <laughs> but, you know, for a lot of people, for the majority of people, hey, a couple drinks, no biggie. But let's say you have a friend who, man, they're missing meetings. They're missing appointments. They're drinking on Tuesday at 1.30 when they got other obligations, man. They're like, they're picking up their kids with the roadie in the car. And you're like, bro, I care about you so much. I don't want you to hurt somebody. I don't want you to hurt yourself. I don't want you getting in trouble, man then you have those kind of conversations because I guarantee you there are a lot of other people around them that aren't saying anything. They're kicking back and they're saying it's all good, man. Nah, don't worry about it. Oh yeah, everybody can have a little drink now and then. Hell, we all work from home these days. It's all good. Oh yeah, you missed an assignment. No biggie, man. Shit, they'll let you make it up. Dude, if you care about that person, you're gonna lay it on the line for them and be like, look, this is what's going on with you, right? And, uh, you know, I, you got to change it, bro, because if not, you're going down a bad slope. And 90% of the time, 90 to 80% of the time, I'm guessing here, right? I'm just making up stuff. But, but let's just say most of the time, that person knows that they have something going on that ain't right. And when you're the only person around them that tells them that, you are building an indestructible bridge where that person says, you know what, damn, dude, you're the only one who's told me that, and I know, I need help. You know, it could be somebody who, maybe it's a dear family member who, 
you just notice something's going on, man. Something's up with their, you know, maybe the, the kids in school and the grades are in the toilet and you're like, yo, what is happening with you, man? You forgot who you were. Let's set this straight. You know, all your homeboys are sitting around saying everything is good and it ain't good. And the only person who's gonna tell you is me, right? I mean, sometimes, I've told somebody this one time, I said, man, if you got everybody around you telling you it's all good, then those people can't wait for a high performer to sink down to a mediocre level. People who are performing at a mediocre pace or even below average, they love nothing more than to see a high performer sink down to their level because it makes them feel better about themselves. Hey man, the only person who's gonna make me feel better about me is me. But I feel like maybe I can help you feel better about you, right? And at the same time, maybe they're gonna do the same. Take it like this. Let's say that, here's an example. Let's say that you're sitting inside your house and you look out the window and you say, hey, my house is great. My house looks fantastic. Well, you don't really know because you're sitting inside looking out. You need someone to cruise by the street, right? They're at the street level. They go by your house and then they call you up and they're like, hey, dude, I just wanted you to know, man, damn, you got weeds all, all in the front, the side of your house, dude. The freaking shingles are falling off your roof. I see cracks all up in the bricks, man. Do you need help, dude? And then you're gonna go outside and check the mail. You're gonna turn around and you're gonna be like, damn, my house does look like crap. I do need help. But then you're gonna think about all those people that drove by before and called you up and said, hey man, the house looks great. And you're gonna be, you're gonna be thinking, man, those people are full of shit. Don't be that person. So give yourself the license to call people out. Man, that's real deal. That's taking off the band-aid. That's looking at the scars. That's picking at the scab. I mean, call it whatever you want. But that's what real men and women do for each other. That's the real deal. So anyway, I just want to tell you guys, I'm thinking about you. I hope this video helped somebody out, man, because I had to have these conversations this week, bro. And it was, um, yeah, it was tricky navigation, but I did it out of love, love, honor, and respect. So with all love, honor, and respect, bleh. So with all love, honor, and respect, my friends, I want to tell you that I hope to see you all one day out here in the mother humming streets, baby. And if I don't see you until Thanksgiving, but well, we don't even have to talk about it because I am going to see you before Thanksgiving. This weekend, we're going to have the Sunday Cigar. So come and hang out with me. It's going to be at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time on Sunday. Don't forget, man, it's a Sunday Cigar. Come hang out, chill with me. We're going to have a good old time. Peace out.